Welcome to Supers Live. This is a Super Modified Ultimate Pavement Racing Series. We are live for the Golden State Classic. Hi, I'm Bob Gamer. I'll be your host here tonight on the Supers Broadcasting Network. We're so glad you could join us. Uh, man, it's a little few late-minute struggles here uh, at the end to get uh, mics up. So hopefully you can hear us all right. I know uh, Hairbag Studio is doing everything they can to make sure that the uh, audio is up to snuff tonight. It's going to be a little tricky, so there might not be a lot of talking during the race. But uh, anyway, welcome in, man. It's uh, the last race before our Summit Classic. It's a pretty special one here tonight because the Golden State Classics was just, uh, a, it was a huge deal. It was a series of seven races that ran out west uh, from 1971 to 1975, I believe it was. And uh, it, there was nothing like it. There was the who's who, the be-all, end-all of real super modified racers. And uh, it just, it was huge. Uh, at times, the entry lists were well over 100. In fact, at one race, uh, they had 150 entries. Can you imagine 150 entries? For a super modified race. Of course, we're talking in the 70s, so it was a lot popular back then than it is now. But uh, irregardless, uh, you can you can learn more about that. If you read our pre-race story on the front page of supers.net, uh, some of that comes from some first-hand knowledge by some of the guys that were there, like Tommy Silsby and uh, uh, also Kurt Kern. But a lot of it comes from Retro Rockets and the Legends of San Jose Supers. And you can take a look at that uh, as you're seeing some of it on the screen right now. Dan Nielsen's great site, Retro Rockets. And uh, we hope you go to that and check it out, RetroRockets.org. And there's a whole section on the Golden State and Golden West Classics in there. And, you know, that's what Supers is all about. We're here to educate you about real super modified racing. And we're here to raise money for injured super modified drivers. So we want to make sure that you understand throughout the broadcast tonight, you'll have many opportunities to uh, do so. Uh, throughout the broadcast, we encourage you to go to supers.net and click the donate tab. Uh, tonight, we've got a real nice car count uh, here for Buckley Speedway. Our history at Buckley goes back a long ways, going back to 2006. Our first year of racing was in 2004, but uh, our first race in 2006 at Buckley was won by G-Dub, Gary Waldron. So, uh, man, we've, we've got a lot. Now, we haven't run the Golden State Classic or the Golden State Special every year that we've run Buckley, but we sure have run it just about every year. There was a little break there for uh, a little while, but uh, you can see there on the screen now uh, the history of Supers at uh, – at Buckley Speedway, looking at uh, 2, 13, and 14, about the only years in our uh, history since we started in 2006 that we haven't run it. Rob Warren was the driver that last won the Golden State Classic. Uh, at that time, it was called the Golden State Special, and that was in 2016. But that doesn't mean he was the last guy to win here. He was the last guy to win in 2019. And that was the President's Day schedule. A bit of a schedule switch here, uh, more like our older schedules where we finish out the season on the West Coast. This is our second of three straight races in the state of California. So uh, we're finishing out with NASCAR Heat tonight. And then next week we'll go on to Madera Speedway, also a, tra a track that held one of the real Golden West Classic races throughout the throughout the years that they ran out there. San Jose Speedway, Altamont, Stockton, the quarter mile dirt at Clovis. I mean, you, you name it. They raced it in the Golden State Classics, and it was something to behold. The greatest super modified drivers with the coolest cars, roadsters, coupes, hard tops, sprint cars, rear engine, four wheel drive cars. They all raced together in the Golden State Classic. So if you haven't if you haven't yet, go to supers.net, click on the front page of the site, read the story, the pre-race story about uh, uh, what we're doing and why we're doing it here tonight. Now, last week uh, we finished up a really big race. If you know anything about West Coast Super Modified Racing, Billy Vukovic the third was one of the greats. Uh, lost his life uh, in uh, 1989 at age of 27 at Mesa Marin. We ran the Vukovic Classic last week, and Dave O won his eighth straight feature win in supers competition dave o was first and uh it was a heck of a show he won his 14th race dave is not here tonight 
somebody is going to collect the 25 bonus points, the Super's Bounty, by default this evening. Uh, but uh, Dave had been chalking up the wins for sure. Uh, we know that uh, if he could be here, he would be, but uh, unfortunately unable to make the show here tonight. Earlier this evening, uh, before the broadcast started, we qualified, and your fast qualifier was Keith put one on you, Powell, when an 11 second lap. Uh, the track record here at Buckley was set in 2008 and was uh, set by mighty Miles Maxson. Maxson, out of Oswego, New York, set that track record in 2008, February, as a matter of fact, and... Uh, that was an 11895. So a little bit slower than what uh, we ran back in 08, but still pretty fast. Keith Powell, your, your fast qualifier here tonight. So the fast car dash was run. Rob Warren won that. We're getting ready to run our qualifying heats now for the Supers Golden State Classic. Now, throughout the broadcast, we want to remind you that uh, you can hit us up. Let us know where you're watching from, and uh, we'll do our best to give you a shout out on the broadcast.